Let's talk about automation. Uh, I heard that the first fully automated McDonald's is opening in Texas. And as someone that occasionally goes to a McDonald's because I'm fairly young and I am broke and I am on the road a lot. And as a result, the fucking like $3 burger and fries bundle thing at McDonald's is rather fucking tempting these days. So I have a considered opinion on McDonald's. Between this and the fact that, like, while I was dating Dakota, my girlfriend from a while back, we both liked chicken nuggets, and we both did the math on oven chicken nuggets versus buying chicken nuggets at McDonald's, and there's not enough of a difference to give up the McDonald's nuggets. <laughs> so, I also have enjoyed those on occasion. But the point of this is, the McDonald's down the road for me is a shithole. I hate it. I try never to go there. Why? Well, when I go through the window there, I can't seem to find anyone that actually speaks English anymore. It's difficult to order. It's difficult to get your food. It The whole thing is difficult. As a result of this, if that is going to be how you run your restaurant, yeah, I would much rather you have fucking robots. Especially in some sort of, like, thing where, like, my food is guaranteed to be, like, clean and not fucked with. Yes, I would pay more for robot McDonald's. And this is where, like, McDonald's knows this. They can't be that stupid. They're going to see that the robot McDonald's sales kill all the sales around it, and they're going to have to do the whole fleet. And to be honest, this is, I think this is probably progress. <laughs> McDonald's has been abusing and mistreating employees for how long now? And like, I don't know what we're going to do to pay those people. Don't ask me about that. I'm just talking about surely from the experience of the person buying the product. Not having people involved in making my fucking food at a cheap place like that, I think is going to make the difference. I'm never going to go to any other fucking fast food thing again until they start doing robots. And this is going to cause a sweeping thing across the entire industry. Like, if you're thinking, man, I'm going to go get a job in fast food, that's a surefire thing. I First off, I question your sanity. But <laughs> second off, it's not a long-term career. This is this is the thing that I keep trying to do the math on is what in the fuck could I do to make a living that's going to be a thing in 20 years? You know, and like, I would like to assume that I'm going to still be working and living for the next 20 years, 20, 30, something like that. So... I don't really want to go invest a bunch of time and effort and energy into getting involved in a company someplace in something that's not going to have a fucking future. Like, I think the future is going to be uh, McDonald's and places like that repair technicians. <coughs> Those fucking things are going to constantly break down. They're going to have to have technicians. I don't know how they're going to make all this shit really work. <coughs> Although the robots are getting considerably better. And there's AI and shit now. I don't really care. All I know is that when McDonald's don't have to pay fucking Jose to flip my fucking burger. Probably going to get cheaper. That's my bet with this. This is the other thing that, like, yeah, it's going to cost them some money to upgrade facilities and whatever. That's all shit that they were going to spend that money anyway. And uh, I think it's going to lower the price of their food. And they're going to take advantage of that in the current crisis that's going on to own the fast food market. That's what I would do if I were them. If I could eliminate my staff and not have to pay people anymore, I could probably cut the price of the food in half. And McDonald's is already, like, the cheapest thing out there. 
Now imagine if it's half of the price it is now. Now, why does any of this matter? Well, first off, this is going to kill a lot of jobs. Second off, this is going to kill an industry, really. Like, there's going to be a lot of businesses that don't quickly adapt, and they're going to just die. Because, like, if Taco Bell will quickly adapt, okay? But, like, let's say Burger King is slow. This would mean that everyone goes to McDonald's instead of Burger King. And it doesn't matter if the Burger King fans still go there. The majority of people are not fans of one or the other. They're like, a, they just like fast food or they just like burgers. And if you were given the option between a Burger King burger that was flipped by people that you don't know what they're doing back there and they seem like they're doing mostly drugs while they're flipping your burger and probably fucking with your food. Would you take that or would you take the robot McDonald's? Because I'm kind of in the camp of the robot McDonald's now. I uh, try to avoid going to fucking fast food restaurants ever anymore. Like, I I always did that, really. Like, my uh, one, like, sin with that is McDonald's. And it's mostly a, I like a cheap burger and fries. And McDonald's burgers and fries are nostalgia. Most of it. But honestly, that's the cat. Honestly, the uh, the rest of the fast food places don't impress me. Like, all of the places I would go, other than that, I wouldn't call fast food. Like, I guess Subway I would go to, and that's technically fast food. It has a drive through now. But most of them are things like that, where, like, they didn't typically have a drive through Like, they're maybe even mom and pop. Something where you have... My old rule was... I don't go to restaurants where you don't have to walk in and get it. And I think that's pretty goddamn good rule these days. That's I, I lost a lot of weight doing that. And like the pandemic, we did that just kind of went out the fucking bag. Like everything became delivery. Everything became drive through windows. Like I went to a few restaurants early on in the pandemic, but eventually gave up on it because... It was weird, and honestly, I was doing a lot of drugs with another transgender woman, and uh, she didn't like going to restaurants. She liked door dashing, and it kind of, it changed my opinion on a lot of shit. Like, if I'm going to spend restaurant money, restaurant money to me is 25 to $35. I could get anything I want on DoorDash for that. Basically, anything. Yeah, you know, maybe, like, not too great. I couldn't get, like, 80 meals or whatever. But, like, for a one-person thing delivered from any restaurant in Tulsa, $35 is a lot. And um, I would prefer to DoorDash. And I think this is probably having an effect on the goddamn restaurants. I thought that for a while, that uh, DoorDash is probably killing an industry, really. And, like, when you go to any restaurant now... Uh, any well, any restaurant that has DoorDash, you'll see that there's just a shitload of orders going out the door on DoorDash, and there's almost nobody in the place. You're one of like two people there. This is uh, so. There's a place I go to that's called Top That Pizza that used to have people in it, and basically now I'm the only one that goes in there except for the delivery drivers. And uh, whenever you go to something like. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of where I was that I saw the DoorDash orders being stacked out the door. Doesn't matter. The point was that we were waiting for our food while they were making DoorDash orders. And uh, I don't know. I'm done with that. I won't go back to a restaurant that I know does that. Not that I can remember which one that was. That might have been, I went to a Euro place. Yeah, that's what it was. It was Euros by Ali. And uh, they had 20 DoorDash orders go out in the time that they had three orders go out to their people in the lobby or whatever. And, like, it took a long time for us to get our food. <laughs> a really long time. We were after the 20 orders. Like, I don't know. Kind of shitty. And this is... I think we're looking at, like, the death of a lot of things. And it's a slow death in some things. It's a quick death in others. 
And depending on what McDonald's chooses to do here and now, this could be the death of most drive through chains. Unless they go to a DoorDash only model or quickly adapt to having uh, automation. Because as far as like, hey, I'm gonna like just go get some food and uh, you know, have on like a road trip or something, McDonald's is gonna just own that fucking market. Church, you're being weird. <laughs> you just like climbed up into my hair. I'm not going to show you guys. Um, I'm not going to tell you why. You can probably guess. Uh, to be honest, some of this is good riddance, right? But like I, Jesus, I somewhat enjoy some of these um, chains at least. And then there's the, all of the places like the subways of the world where, like, they're fast food, but they're healthier-ish, and you usually have to walk into them, and they cross a lot of boxes for me, usually. And they make it in front of you, like that, too. And that's where, like, as long as Subway survives and McDonald's survives, I think I'm pretty much happy, but the rest of the world might be considerably pissed. And, like, when I go to Whataburger now... I see them starting to fucking just completely change. And it's kind of like, I don't think Whataburger is going to survive this. They got bought out by a Chicago firm and they have no idea how to roll with the punches. The people that made Whataburger special are gone. Brahms is the opposite end of the spectrum. Brahms, um, They, they used to do third pound patties and they shrank down to quarter pound patties and they kept their prices roughly the same. And that's the only change basically through their entire restaurant. And uh, the people at Brahms, I guess were raised right or some shit. Like, I don't know what it is. Either that old man's still in charge of the place or some shit. Go cat. Doesn't matter. In any case, they're doing things the way that I would do them, which oh, I don't know if it means that they're going to survive or not, but it bodes well for them. This is where I'd really like to have some fucking burger options that aren't fucking McDonald's. And like, there'll always be the like grease burger joint down the street kind of place. There's several of those around here and they'll do well as a result of this. But they're expensive. Like, uh, we have a place here called Freddy's. And another one called Fat Guys. And they're both $15, $20 to, to eat there. Something like that. Depends on what you get, right? And whatever. But, like, if you went on the cheap side and got a single patty and whatever and a drink and fries, it's 15 bucks. If you go on the expensive side, it's more like 20 If you go real crazy, you can get it up there, right? But, like a double bacon cheeseburger with fries and a shake or some shit's probably like 20 bucks. That's a significant change from $3. Like, there's going to be a, just a bunch of people that don't eat out anymore. And this is the real problem. <laughs> like, American society is basically propped up on this. Hey, we're just all going to eat fast food all the time. We're all going to eat at restaurants all the time. We're all going to make a whole bunch of money. That shit's going to end. Now, I don't think everybody lives that way. But there's a significant portion of the American population that eats out at restaurants and fast food. Probably at least one meal a day. Right? Now imagine that a significant portion of that just stops. How does that... That industry does not survive by much as it is. It can't take half of its people just not buying shit anymore, which is what's about to happen. And then if you add on McDonald's becoming a robot onto this, that's I think that is going to have some suckle effect from at least similar things. Like Burger King and Whataburger and shit like that are going to be hurting. 
And like Whataburger and uh, Brahms are kind of in a separate category from McDonald's and Burger King, right? Like they're different tiers of price. Like Whataburger, you're spending 10 or 12 bucks. Brahms, you're spending probably 10 or 12 bucks. At fucking Burger King or McDonald's, you can get a meal for five or six bucks. So there is that. And uh, a lot of people would get like a couple McDonald's burgers as like a snack with their kid or something. But they might get dinner at Whataburger. And uh, I don't know which of those is the best bet, really. The cheaper option is probably the best bet. Although there's a lot of people that do dinner at fucking McDonald's. Can't say I'd recommend that. Especially not as a family. Like, if you have really young kids, I get it. Because McDonald's is fun. And cheap. And, like, you can just go let them destroy that restaurant. <laughs> I don't know. We've kind of wandered around here. But, like, this is some of the stuff that's really on my mind right now about our impending doom. That's going to affect you and me and the real world quickly. This shit. Like, there's the war and other shit too. But, uh, honestly, I think, assuming our wars don't go nuclear, they're going to be these slug fests. And, uh, I don't know how that's going to go. If we have a draft, that's going to affect our life a lot, right? If we, you know, wage a fucking war like we did in Iraq. But in fucking Taiwan, we could do that for a really long goddamn time if we had to. We couldn't fight World War II for a really long time. We we could probably sustain, you know, a thousand man a year casualty rate for a while. It would bleed us dry and we have other people to fight. <laughs> Anyway, the uh, the economic woes are really going to be the more important things to watch, in my opinion. And so much of the U.S. economy is built of this, like, trash food that automation is going to fuck with, that everything's going to fuck with, that, like, we are so vulnerable to shit right now. Like, we're at this state where, like, our infrastructure's old as shit. New technology is coming up daily. It wouldn't take very much time and money for China and Russia to start building shit that surpassed us. A lot of people don't see that, but like with the AI and shit coming, that's it worries me a little bit. Especially it worries me if we collapse here to the point that like we're not making new tech in the United States anymore, but yet Russia or China can still make tech. That's the nightmare scenario. You don't want to have fucking China be, you know, the new gods. And I think we're about to see a war for the planet fought by different tribes of fucking new gods. Or people that want to make themselves gods. And that's always kind of the way, isn't it? It's one of those things that, like... Uh, in the fifth element, uh, Zorg, when he's on the ship, he's hearing all the gunshots and stuff. He pulls a bomb out of his pocket, sticks it on a door and goes, I've heard this music before. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of like that right now. Like, yeah, the world's headed to a really shitty place. I want a backup plan. I'm excited about the AI burger flipper. If, like I said, for no other reason than uh, I occasionally like a cheap burger and this should make them cheaper and healthier, probably. The human factor in a restaurant is disgusting. And I'm not just talking about E-Honda. And on that note, I'll leave you. See you later.